I was a CAD administrator, or CADman as I like to call it, at Amazon and Blue Origin. Sometimes people reach out to me and ask, hey, how do I become a CADman because there's no real certification for it. Here are five steps that you can follow if you want to be a CADman. Number five, learn everything you can about the CAD package that you want to support. So for most organizations, you're going to want to know part modeling, including surfacing and sheet metal, assemblies, drawings, and any other disciplines that are used by your company. And to learn everything that you can, I recommend taking classes, especially instructor-led classes, which are the best way to learn CAD. And also, you should have your own web-based training account so that you can access those online classes on demand whenever you need to refresh your memory on a given subject. Number four, master the basics of CAD administration. And so that involves things like installing the software, managing the licenses, writing startup scripts, the different configuration options and files, and also model and drawing templates. Number three, Provide real technical support to your coworkers. And what I mean by this is actually doing the work of technical support rather than just guessing at an answer. That means you need to look up the answer in the different resources. So for example, with Creo Parametric, you want to use the Help Center, which is like the encyclopedia of all the functionality in Creo Parametric. There's also the knowledge base where you have different issues that people have reported and also community boards like the PTC community website. And then after you answer the question, make sure that you follow up. So for example, when you give them the solution, verify with them, did I solve your problem? And then a week or two later, you're going to want to loop back to them and ask them if they are still having that issue. Number two, learn CAD data management. At many companies, they distinguish between the CAD administrators and the PLM administrators, but there is a huge amount of overlap between CAD and PLM. Oftentimes when someone comes to you with a CAD issue, well, it's really a PLM issue. So you definitely want to learn both product data management, getting information in and out of your CAD system, plus what's called business administration. You can generally break down PLM administration into two areas. There's the business side and the system side. The system side is sort of what's under the hood. That involves some coding and a lot of different configuration for how the PLM software actually works. But the business administration, well, that's sort of what the user sees. That's going to be stuff like creating accounts and managing preferences, all that sort of stuff. Hey, learn some CAD data management. And the number one way to become a CAD administrator ask you would be surprised what you can get in life just by asking and cad admins are hard to find and so most companies if you say that you want to become a cadman they're going to say yes please thank you and one bonus tip once you become a cadman how do you become a good cadman the answer is you've got to eat your own dog food you should continue being an end user of the software and i recommend that you target 10 percent of your time being devoted to project work so you can understand the problems and pains that your internal customers are facing. Thank you very much. If you're interested in becoming a Cadman, hey, I hope you reach your goals.